welcome back to my channel. So I'm Amy if you are new. Today's video I'm going to be sharing this glowy makeup look, but we are going to be concentrating on skin prep, on skincare. You know, skincare is like music to my ears. So I don't know if you've seen or heard, but Sephora Collection just launched their own clean skincare line. So I'm super excited that this video is actually sponsored by Sephora Collection. I can't wait to share all of these products with you. I'm going to be showing some of my favorites that I have been using for the past couple weeks. It has that Sephora clean seal of approval, which I don't know if you are familiar with, but these products contain none of those nasties like sulfates, mineral oils, phthalates, none of that. These are really quality ingredients. So I can't wait to take you through all of these products. There's a lot of really great glowy products and you guys are gonna be so ecstatic at the price point of this because all of these products in the collection are under $20 and that is literally unheard of, especially at Sephora for one. Also in the clean skincare world. So I hope you guys are excited. I know so many of you love skincare as much as me. So this one, you guys, is A1. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So I went ahead and just cleansed my skin off camera. I did use the new Sephora Collection. This is their Clean Skin Gel, and it just gets rid of all of your makeup in a really fast and easy way. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next skincare product, which I have been absolutely loving these gel pads. This is, again, by the Sephora Collection, and these are the Glow Peel Pads. So these are packed with AHAs and glycolic acid to really resurface the skin and you're left with that really beautiful glow. So I really love to use this at night, but also it's just going to really help enhance the skin right now because I'm not going to be wearing any foundation, so I want to make sure all of that dead skin is definitely slothed off. And it does contain aloe vera. There's like a texture side and then the other side. So we want to use the textured side just to help exfoliate a little bit further. But again, they're very gentle and made with aloe vera, like I was saying, so it helps to soothe the skin. It doesn't sting whatsoever. I know sometimes these kind of look like the God forbid Stridex pads, which scare the crap out of me. But these are so, so gentle and actually very soothing. But you can just see how it's allowing my skin to really, really glow. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to a serum that I am obsessed with, you guys. I love vitamin C. I feel like everybody should include a vitamin C serum into their routine. So this one is the Ultra Glow Serum from the Sephora Collection and it has vitamin C and E. I really love vitamin E as well because it is so great to repair. So I absolutely love that this is mixed in to this serum. It's so, so, so lightweight and it really does provide such a beautiful glow. You can use this and or PM but I really prefer to use it in the AM and it just makes your skin look so luminous so healthy but not only does it leave incredible glow but it really helps to protect the skin's barrier it's made with antioxidants so it's not only like helping you achieve a beautiful glow but it's actually really really amazing for your skin so this one is such a hero product for me from the entire line and again at such an accessible price you just want to like pat that in. But you can see that it is leaving me with this beautiful glow because it's like a serum oil hybrid, which I think is really neat. It leaves just a tiny bit of like tackiness, like ever so slightly. But once you put your moisturizer on top, you just feel like so solid in your skin. So I'm going to follow that up with the All Day Hydrator by Sephora Collection again. They actually have another moisturizer, which I love for PM. I mean, honestly, AM or PM, it's lightweight enough to wear under makeup and everything. But just look at how rich this looks. So delicious. So if you tend to gravitate towards more of those like luxe, rich moisturizers, like you really, your skin really craves that, I think you're going to absolutely love this. Since I use this Glow Oil Serum, I really love how these two work work together. This hydrates incredibly, but it's more of a lightweight base, so I feel like it's the perfect primer. So that's what I'm going to use today. It hydrates, like I said, incredibly because it is made with hyaluronic acid. So this is definitely going to be the moisturizer that I'm going to be using during these hot months of summer that are approaching. Um, again, absorbs very quickly. The formulation of all the products are so bomb. I like cannot wait for you guys to try it. If you guys have tried it, definitely leave your feedback in the comments below for anybody else that's looking for like 
additional opinions. I like to put it down here on my elbows because it is that hydrating. Like I feel like my arms were dry and so I'm going to go ahead and use the eye cream. This one is called the Brightening Eye Cream. So I just like to take a little bit on my ring finger and just kind of dab it right under here. And it is, again, it's made with like hyaluronic acid. So it's going to really plump the skin under there. It feels super soothing. And it's also made with caffeine. So... I have noticed whenever there's like caffeine in products, it really like helps to wake up the eye. So that is why it is called a brightening eye cream. So those are the steps that I'm taking to achieve a very radiant, luminous base. But I did want to go ahead and move on to my light makeup routine so you guys can really see that you don't need foundation when your skin prep is on point. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to that. I'm going to actually use the Radiance Primer by Laura Mercier so we can amplify the glow just a bit more. Um, it looks like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the. I do have just like a few little leftover acne scars. This concealer, this is by RMS, it doesn't cover up like incredibly, incredibly, which is totally fine with me because like I said, I do really love a skin finish. So I'm just going to tap it through here. Just on the little spots that I want to cover up a teensy bit. It's gonna, this one's also very like glowy, so it helps to bounce off the light. Very, very little product. Very, very, very little product. Now I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows. I'm gonna use this guy by Marc Jacobs. Since I have a few sparse areas, I feel like having like a very well groomed brow also helps to give you like a nice little finish look. It makes such a difference. I'm gonna use the Milk Kush Brow and they actually just came out with some new shades. So I'm gonna use the lighter one so it's not super, super harsh. This one is Herb and I usually use Grind or Hydro, but I really like how this one's a bit lighter. So it's not, since I'm not wearing like foundation or anything, I wanna keep everything somewhat light. And then just to chisel out a little bit, I'm going to use the Fenty. This is the matchstick in Mocha. And then I'm just going to do that. So I have some definition in my face. And I'm just going to blend that out. So next I'm going to use some blush. This is in the Nude. This is by Nude Stick. It's like a multi-use cream color. I'm just going to stamp that on my cheeks here. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to blend that out too. So I'm going to use a little bit of powder. This is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. I love this for glowy looks. And I'm just going to add some bronzer all over. So I'm going to take that one here. And then I'm going to take the Peach Palette by Too Faced and I'm going to use this shade here, just like a shimmery brown. And just to add a little bit more glow to the eyes, I'm going to take this shade here in that same Becca Chrissy Teigen Palette and I'm going to add it to right on top of the shadow to make it glow a little bit more. And then with the other highlighter, I'm going to add that to the inner corner. Then I'm going to also add that same highlighter all over the tops of my cheeks. My nose. And then I'm also going to take a more wet looking highlight. I know I'm going a little overboard now, but I really love... To have that like wet skin look so I'm gonna take nude sticks this is in the shade Illuminati and I'm gonna put it right on top of the highlighter that I just applied and it looks more like my skin like I'm a little bit sweaty in a sense and then for lips I'm gonna use this guy this is the Kaja which you can also find at Sephora and it's a really comfortable lip and to finish off, I'm going to use some mascara. I'm going to use the Milk Kush Lash Primer first. And then I'm going to follow it up with, of course, the Black Kush. 
So, voila, this is the finished makeup look. Very glowy, luminous, summer ready, I feel like. This is like my summer go-to makeup look. Like I've mentioned in so many of my videos, skin prep is absolutely necessary when it comes to these glowy makeup looks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the new Sephora Collection Clean Skincare line. I'm so impressed and I'm really, really happy with the price point that they went for. And like the packaging is super cute. Very clean, no fuss, nothing super crazy fancy, but just enough pop to be aesthetically pleasing to my eye. And be sure to check the description box for all of the products that I use in this video. It's all linked there for you guys to shop. And you can find everything at Sephora. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.